It is very common for patients to present to our practice with a previous diagnosis of elevated natural killer cell activity, and this alone as the cause of their failure to conceive or recurrent pregnancy loss. Well, at my practice, we've begun the process of what we call indexing, where we have a very large immune profile that we order on our patients, and each of the immune components that comes back gets a weighted score. Because what we've learned in the literature has shown that you can't make a diagnosis of immune rejection of a pregnancy based on just one single test. In fact, the natural killer cell activity when normal without any other abnormalities turns out to be not a very significant issue and a lot of these patients actually don't have immune rejection of their embryos. In my practice, every few months we are constantly making additions to our immune profile so we can get a more accurate weighted score of the patient's immune profile. It's important to not only look at the immune profile in all the cells that are involved in immune rejection, but also look at the clinical history as well. It's important to also understand that you have to get a good idea of the patients who truly have immune rejection because treating patients unnecessarily may in itself cause recurrent pregnancy loss or failure to conceive because you do need some inflammation at the very beginning of implantation to create the blood vessels that the embryo needs to implant. So only those patients that are showing an overactivation of the immune system should be treated. And by increasing the number of tests that we have and increasing our immune profile, we get a better idea and a better score on which patients actually need to be treated.